Hello guys, in this video, let's create function app and import it in APIM. So, we will create Azure function app with one function in Visual Studio. And it will be a very simple function which returns two employees. So, it will return a hard coded list of employees. Then, we will deploy this function app in Azure. Then, let's import this function app in APIM. And finally, let's consume this API that is the function from this function app through APIM. So guys, we are in Visual Studio and we are creating a new project. So let's select this option that is Azure Functions. Next, let's give name to our project. So I will say our test function for APIM. Next, and here let's say create. And guys, our function app is ready. And now let me make it more readable. So I will rename this. I'll say rename. And here I will say employee functions. And let's say enter. Also, let's go down. And let me rename this method as well. So I will say you get employees and let's say enter and let's rename this function name as well so let's copy this name that is get employees and let's paste it over here and finally i will just keep it get so let's remove this post from here and let's say so basically this function it will return the list of employees and again we will keep it simple and we will return a hard coded list of strings okay so i will say we are employees is equal to new list of string and it has two employees that is neil and harshal and let's simply return this object that is employees and here i will say employee let's actually test this function so let's say run And you can see our function app is running. So let's copy this URL. And let's paste it in browser and let's say enter. And you see it's working. And now obviously we want to deploy this function app in Azure portal. And, and we don't have any function app in Azure. So let's create function app in Azure while deploying this project itself. So let's stop. right click on this project i will say publish and yes we want to publish to azure next yes it will be azure function app windows next and we don't have any instance of azure function app so let's create new and this is the default function app name provided to us by this visual studio and let's keep it as it is and here i will say create so basically this will create a new function app in azure and our function app from visual studio it will get deployed over there and here let's say finish and here let's say publish and you can see the publish has been successful so let's cross check in azure so guys we are in azure portal and as of now there is no function app so let's say refresh and yes we can see the function app which we just published from visual studio so let's actually open it so we are under overview and at the bottom we can see this function that is get employees let's actually click on it here let's say get function url and let's copy this url and let's test this function whether it works so i will paste this url over here and i will say enter and yes it's working and now obviously we want to import this function app in our azure api management service so let's go to our previous tab here let me duplicate this tab 
let's go to home and let's open api management service so let's click on api management and let's open this api management service now on the left hand side let's click on this apis and now here we want to import that function app right so let's go down and can you see this option that is function app so let's click on it let's select our function app i'll say select and yes we can see our function app so let's select it and let's say select and basically that's it guys and let's say create and you can see our function app has been successfully imported in this azure api management service and here we can see the api and here under operations we can see the operations and as of now we have only one operation that is get employee let's actually test it so let's click on this test and again let's click on this get employees so we are under test and we are testing this operation that is get employees so here let's go down and see guys the url it will be our first apim and the operation is get employees so we are calling this function that is this api through azure api management and now to test it let's click on send and let's go down and yes our function call has been successful and it says 200 okay and we received the response as well that is these two employees.